Lee J. Cobb, born on December 8, 1911, in New York City, was an American actor known for his powerful performances on stage, film, and television. Lee J. Cobb was born as Leo Jacoby to a Jewish family in New York City. He attended New York University, where he studied drama and graduated in 1932. Cobb initially worked as a social worker before pursuing acting full-time. Cobb began his acting career in the theater, working with the Group Theater, a renowned company focused on producing socially relevant plays. In 1937, he made his Broadway debut in Waiting for Lefty, and went on to perform in several other stage productions, including Golden Boy and The Death of a Salesman, for which he received critical acclaim. Cobb's powerful and intense stage performances led to opportunities in Hollywood. He made his film debut in The Vanishing Shadow in 1934 and went on to appear in numerous movies including On the Waterfront in 1954, Twelve Angry Men in 1957, and The Exorcist in 1973. He received an Academy Award nomination for his role on On the Waterfront and became known for his portrayal of complex and authoritative characters. Cobb transitioned to television in the 1950s and appeared on several TV shows, including the popular series The Virginia and The Untouchables. He also starred in his own TV series, The Lloyd Bridges Show, in 1962 and 1963. Cobb continued to work in both film and television throughout his career. He received critical acclaim for his performances in the miniseries QB7 in 1974 and the TV movie The Atlanta Child Murders in 1985. Cobb's final appearance was in The Return of Elliot Ness in 1991, in which he reprised his role as Agent William Bill Youngfellow from The Untouchables. Lee J. Cobb was married twice and had two children. He passed away on February 11, 1976, at the age of 64. Cobb left a lasting legacy as a highly respected actor known for his intensity, versatility, and commanding stage and screen presence. Lee J. Cobb's career spanned several decades and showcased his immense talent as an actor. He made significant contributions to both theater and film, leaving behind a body of work that continues to be celebrated and remembered by audiences and fellow performers alike.